Lord, let your love fill our hearts and minds, that we may love the world with the great love that you have for the world, that we may love you with all our heart and mind and soul and strength, and our neighbours as ourselves. Amen. One of the great religious leaders of the 18th century was a man whose hymns are still sung and whose influence for good is still at work in the world. He was Count von Zinzendorf, the moving spirit of the Moravian Church. And it's no exaggeration to say that, directly or indirectly, he inspired a new idealism in Europe and America, and did much in his day to give men a fresh awareness of spiritual things. And yet he had no thought of stirring men's hearts and awaking their consciences until he himself came face to face with Christ. That happened one day when this rich young man drove into Dusseldorf. There, while his horses were being groomed at the inn, he wandered round the town sightseeing. To amuse himself, he looked in the art gallery, glanced idly at one picture after another, and then halted before a work by Stenberg. It was a picture of the crucifixion, and below it were the words, All this I did for thee, what hast thou done for me? Count Zinzendorf stood as if rooted to the ground. He remained there motionless, not just for a few minutes, but for hour after hour. Other visitors arrived and departed, but he neither heard nor saw them. The light began to fade, and the curator, anxious to go home, became impatient. Jingling his keys, he eventually dared to tap the young man on the shoulder, and at last the Count turned on his heel and left the art gallery. Soon he was on his way to Paris. But he was no longer the young man who had walked carelessly into the art gallery at Dusseldorf. He had been changed. He had dedicated himself to a new way of life, a life of unending service. Let us pray. Lord, thou hast died for me. Help me to live for thee. Eternal God, source of our being, you have called us into your community of self-giving love, and you guide us on our journey towards yourself through people who are special to us, through experiences that shape us, through words and scenes that cry out to us. With each new day that dawns, renew our vision of your kingdom, and so imprint on our lives the cross of Christ, that others may discover there wholeness in brokenness, celebration in suffering, life in death. We pray for your Spirit's enabling in all that we strive to do and to be, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.